Today we're going to teach you how to install Zorin OS on any PC out there in the world. Yes, hello, welcome. Welcome back guys to another tech tutorial with Human and Sutan and today we're continuing our Linux distros series and today we're taking a look at Zorin OS. I'm going to teach you how to install it and Human will guide you through the system and make a quick overview of Zorin OS. So now we're in the Zorin OS website here. Wow, it's really nice, minimalistic as the OS itself is. We can see great reviews from Forbes, CNET, TechRadar, Tech PC World. Everyone seems to like the system. And while it's easy to know and handle if you already are familiar with Windows, Mac OS or Linux. So you can see here it's resistant to viruses and rock solid and reliable. And you can revive an old computer using Zorin OS because it's very snappy and light. The light version particularly is very lightweight, so that will revive any computer as old as 15 years. And we're going to do that today. But I want to inform you that Zorin has four different versions, Ultimate, Core, Light and Education. The Ultimate version does cost 39 euro. If you want to have the ultimate Zorin experience, go ahead and buy the system. But today we're going to take a look at the light version. And now we're going to download it. And we're going to skip to download here. Download 64-bit because the computer we're going to install it on is a 64-bit system. It's a Surface Pro Generation 1. So download. Thanks for downloading Zorin OS. While Zorin OS downloads, we're going to go ahead and search here for Rufus. Here the website for Rufus. And we're going to download Rufus 3.10 here, portable. And let it download. And now we're going to wait for the Zorin OS to download and complete the download. So we can go ahead and create a bootable USB device in Rufus. Now that the download is finished, we're going to go ahead and go to Rufus here. Yes. Yes. And now we're going to connect our USB flash drive like this. And we previously installed Ubuntu, that's why it says Ubuntu here. But this is our USB flash drive. And now we're going to select the ISO file here, select. Zorin OS here, master boot record here, BIOS or UEFI and everything else as it is and just start and here we're gonna press yes and write in ISO image mode recommended okay and be sure if you have anything important on your USB flash drive, back it up before you do this because it will erase everything on your USB flash drive. Go ahead and press OK. And now it's going to do its thing and create a USB, U, bootable USB flash drive so we can install Zorin OS. And uh, we will be back in the next scene and install this OS on our Microsoft Surface Pro 1. So it's time to install Zorin OS here. We're gonna go ahead and use the volume down button and the power button to boot into the bootable USB flash drive on a Surface Pro 1 generation 1. And now release the power button and the volume button. So here we can see try or install Zorin OS and we're gonna of course, install Zorin OS here. So we're gonna press enter here. Zorin OS, wow. So let's see how the install process will be here. So we can show you and demonstrate how to install Zorin OS. Wow, we're inside Zorin OS here and now we want to install the system so we're gonna do that before we go in here. Install Zorin OS here, double click and it's now loading up here 
And we're going to use English as our language here. And now we're going to go ahead and select our wireless network here. Connect. We're going to press the password here. Connect. Hopefully it will be connect to the Wi-Fi. Yes, established connection. Continue. And download updates while installing Zorin OS. Very important here. Install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media formats. Very important for full capability here and compatibility. Continue. And now, because we have Ubuntu on the system, we're gonna erase this here and install Zorin OS because we don't want to have Zorin OS alongside Ubuntu. So we're gonna erase this and install Zorin OS. And th this is the option you want to do because you want to have a clean install. But make sure that you back up your content before doing this because this will delete all your programs, documents, photos, music, and any other files in all operating system. So now install now. Yes, we're gonna go continue. We know the risks here. And yes, Stockholm here. And human and Sutton here for the name. And human Sutton here for the username. And here login automatically because we don't want to have a password every time we use a computer a easy password here just to demonstrate here continue and now it's copying files here from Zorin OS again this is the light edition that we are using Zorin OS 15 Now it has copied all the files and now it's going ahead to install the system here. Wow, the system has installed completely here. Installation has finished. You can now continue testing Zorin OS now, but until you restart the computer, any changes you make or documents you say will not be preserved. So we're going to go ahead and press restart now. So now we can see Zorin OS actually boot for the first time after we have installed the system. So we're going to see how fast this is. Wow. Wow, that that fast. We're already at Zorin OS here, booted up. Amazing. Completely amazing. Wow. Human will be delighted to try this out. Wow, completely amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Now we have Zorin OS here. Wow, what a nice looking system. Thank you so much. Wow, what an amazing OS this is. Really fast and nice and very easy to install. Anyone could do this following this tutorial. Please try it out. Thank you so much again for watching this video. Don't forget to comment down below if you have any issues or questions about Zorin OS. And don't forget to share this video to anyone who wants to install Zorin OS and revive any old computer they have at home. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button so you can show us some support and love here. And do not forget the notification bell so you can get notified of our new videos because Human will come up with a quick overview of Zorin OS where you can see this OS in depth. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, please that smash that button, show us some numbers, give us some numbers here, support us here at Human Institute and we are so humbled by, by all of your support, thank you so much. And don't forget who this is. Human. And certain.